uh, patriarchy and mm -hmm. men being in charge, basically. But there was one other thing that really bothered me because we're in a season right now. This is where we're, this is the, the um, season of graduation, proms, graduations, and all the rest of that stuff. And I've been looking at some stuff, say, in the states. It's kind of interesting because they have these dress codes and stuff like that. Like they say, women can't wear this, they can't wear that, or whatever it is. It's too sexually suggestive, you know, and all the rest of that stuff. In fact, one one young lady, uh, seventeen year old. She wrote, she, she was put in detention for wearing a halter dress or something like that with her shoulders well, something like that, something ridiculous. And, it, and they said it was because it was too sexually subjective and it would distract the boys. And so she wrote a letter while she was in detention, maybe it wasn't, but she wrote a letter and said, well, don't blame me. If whoever, you don't put me in detention. Well, she didn't say it this way, I'm putting words across, you know. Why don't you send them boys home to help those ideas? Put the boys in detention. Don't be... <laughs> but here's the one that's really offensive. You know, when you have a problem, you have these chaperones, whatever happened. There was an incident a while ago where these guys, the men, you know, were in like a balcony situation looking down at the prom. You know, I guess they were supposed to be chaperones, but they're together. And they were oogling or looking at some woman, uh, you know, some girl that had a, a dress or whatever on, and whatever it is. The dress was appropriate for the prom, but because these men were, whatever they were, you know, eyeing or whatever it is, the, the authorities, whatever, whoever they are, they sent the girl home. What? It's her prom. Send those idiots, those, uh, why? How do you do that? I don't get it. And this is the problem with patriarchy. Because you take the male's point of view. What about the woman's point of view? What about the Look, she's a, she's a young woman. She can dress any way she wants. You better control yourself. One more thing. There was an incident. Uh, a friend of mine told me it happened in Iran where this 85-year-old or some 80-year-old man was sitting, I don't know, old man was in the streets or something like that. And what happened was a, a European woman came up with a miniskirt and right there, he pulled down and raped her. <laughs> and, you know, the people applauded. <laughs> and my thing again, you know, you don't, if you can't control your thing, then, hey, you know, think if they come, think if we were back in the days Maybe that's what happened in the old days in Africa, you know, when it's warm, whatever have you. You know, women, breasts are just breasts, you know what I mean? Whatever, whatever, and say, well, right Now the European comes and says, oh, no, no, you can't do that, you got to cover up. Well, that's not that culture's thing. It's your colonial, you know, pushing it on somebody else. So what I'm, what I'm saying is that the problem is not only do we have a, a whole male kind of thing going on, but we also have this colonial mind that you can't, you, you're going to control something else that you know nothing about. This has nothing to do with you. You don't like it, don't come to the continent. Leave us alone. You don't like it, don't go to the prom. <laughs> you can't control yourself something. Don't, hey, you got to leave school. <laughs> Believe me, if you start kicking a bunch of kids out of school, boys out of school, things are going to change. They're going to be acting right. Anyway, but this has been one of those dispatches from the arts director of America. So that would be me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I own is.